Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. No matter what kind of day, week, month, or even year you're having, BetterHelp can, well, help. It's an online therapeutic resource that will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist, all from the comfort of your home. Does it get any better than that? To get started, head to betterhelp.com slash cinemasins, answer a few questions about your state of mind, and before you know it, you'll be matched with a therapist who will work with you. Oh yeah, and you also get 10% off your first month when you click that link below. Now, onto the show. They are reading. So much so that you might say it's bordering on ridiculous that no one in this universe has mentioned it before. Some people say his shoe is from the mountain. Some Or maybe they were in a box of cereal. We really don't know. Over the next few minutes, these super circles will create a force field. Force push him from his steed, clear a landing spot, pack some power punches, grab a soldier by electricity or some shit, clear a path to the door, and anything else the movie thought would look cool. As opposed to, you know, skipping the Ten Ring Circus and just doing the door thing, at which point every single soldier shrugs and walks away. Also, he does some impressive ass beating, but do the Ten Ninja Donuts not allow him to take on more than one guy at a time? Even though there weren't ten of them, and what he had were technically bracelets. It's okay. I sometimes call mine the Ten Inches for the same reason. I get it. Not securing your bullion. Unless you're time traveling, you don't change the course of history. You set the course of history. To change something indicates a given guaranteed alternative. Set the course of history sounds more badass anyway. You do want to be a badass, don't you? Why would gods use martial arts? Kids! Okay, fine, mystical, magical, blah, blah, whatever. But trees have freaking roots, man. It's not like the movie is saying this is an illusion. There are real physical consequences here. Are these Fallon trees? Because I just don't see how they could stand on their own without the roots. The guy with the supernatural fitness tracker saves himself and only himself. Guess who this movie's villain is? So it's just traveling by cars they hate? Crafting Disney a hidden marvel. This may be the greatest fight scene in Marvel's history. It has a sense of space, geography, culture, and is downright gorgeous. In addition to the fact it actually tells us something about the characters and story. I didn't think you had it in you, Marvel, but here's your sin-off. Now see, if that was David Dunn, that puddle would have killed him. Martin Brodeur? Look at that origami! I couldn't make a dragon like that even if I did nothing but study paper folding for the next 30 years. And since I can't do it, instead of owning my own sh**, I'm exercising my right to take out my frustration on the thing presenting me with my shortcomings. As Mother Nature intended! Man, I feel sorry for anyone watching this that doesn't realize she's gonna die soon. Not charging your phone overnight. I've had it with these motherfucking present day titles in these motherfucking movies. It is not present day, it is a specific day. When the disembodied spirit of Elon Musk Jr.'s AI companion Selectron Alpha is watching this movie in 2396 as the embers of humanity glow in the void of an endless night, it will not still be present day, damn it! Hot Jesus! San Francisco is the hottest film location since Vancouver! Apes, Ant-Man, even his Endgame appearance, and then the Venom films, then Matrix Resurrections, and this f This road. I'm driving. Aquafina is a funny sidekick in a 2021 movie featuring dragons cliche. Please open the door. It's a pull-up lock and the window is open. I get that we are establishing that Sean is living an easygoing life here, but even he could probably figure out how to get that door open. Sean, we've been friends for 10 years. Exposition via friendly argument. That maybe there's a point where you're supposed to stop going on joyrides and start thinking about living up to your potential. Did my mom write this sh Look, we're now living in a world where at any moment half the population can just disappear. Bloop. Being stupid. Why Gong didn't move here from Hunan so you could park cars for a living? Okay, first of all, moving to San Francisco was a bad idea if you wanted awesome jobs or affordable living arrangements. Second of all, parking cars in San Francisco due to the city's notorious cost of living is probably a pretty f***ing good job. After this punch, his bad guy buddies wait through a zoom in, a couple beats of what the f*** face, and Sean asking Katie if she's okay before they decide to act. Say what you want about henchmen, but they know how to follow a script. I gotta be me! 
I gotta be me. No driver should ever have earbuds in while on public roads. <laughs> I'm not sure who decided to have this bus demolish a bunch of electric scooters, but whoever you are, my friend, you are the true hero. I mean, I still have to send the electric scooters for existing, but I wanted you to know how much I appreciate you first. Oh my god, he almost sliced into his chunk! And then they look at each other like, I almost clipped your penis, bro! Can you imagine anything funnier? There's plenty of Sean survives this happening right now, but the bigger question is, why is this guy trying to slice him in half and make him not survive this when the orders were just to get the pendant? A nice signal, make a hard right. What signal? Seriously, in addition to it taking vaguely the same amount of time to say, when I pull the stop request line, take a hard right, how is Sean supposed to know exactly when there is even a chance to turn right in the first place? Especially one that he can line up perfectly with his plan. You might be surprised to hear this, but his whole plan relies on so much coincidence. Honestly, this long shot from outside the bus is so rad a little bit of pee came out. This purse strap save makes me think this scene could have been a kick-ass Marvel entry into the Final Destination franchise, but it is not. From sunup to sundown, I was taught every possible way to kill a man. Did you at least get a lunch break? Also, this is not being taught how to kill a man. This is having the sh** beat out of you. Ubi is about to insinuate that Jia Ling is going to teach herself how to become an expert poke on a rope killer. But you can't just download this information into your head. This isn't a modern day Matrix sequel. You can tell because the action scenes are actually good. Sure, he's beating up ten guys at once, but he's no Eat Man. It's Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi. No, Shang-Chi. This Shang's on for some time. You change your name from Shang to Sean? As much as I hate to say this, I have to agree with Aquafina here. That is a lazy ass name change. Is that guy an extremist patient soldier? I understand Easter eggs and brand cohesion, but I did not understand wanting to associate your movie with Iron Man 3. Now that hurt, Emil. You want me to show you how it feels? Isn't this the villain Tim Roth played in The Incredible Hulk? On one hand, these cameos can give fun fan service to the observant, but for most of us they just ring hollow and cheap since we aren't cataloging every single Marvel character in our brains. I don't even remember this creature's name, so now I'm not sure if this cameo is a welcome addition or an outright abomination. Also, no one will be seated during the real steel portion of the film. Nina. Oh. My. God. I could have a heart attack and die of not surprise. Also, fighting with my family. Sisters, I can't stop thinking about how this main event cage just had a mystic arts magician versus a Hulk type monster, but now it's just the All Valley Karate Tournament. You know what he said to me when he left? I'll be back in three days. Is this a Jesus callback? I'm tired of all these Marvel Easter eggs. I built this place on my own. Okay, sure, but it's an underground fight club casino, so don't flex too hard. Even without supervillains, both of them should die from this stupid stunt. This isn't the Matrix! On a dark desert highway, cool wind in my hair! Thinking the Eagles will miraculously save you. What movie do you think you're in? Lord of the Rings? But also, the Eagles. Yeah. Some bullsh**. I told my men they wouldn't be able to kill you if they tried. Glad I was right. What I said, Neil. Cool, cool, cool. F*** you, Daddy Slap Bracelets. My son is home! Unfortunately, he's wearing a hoodie and he has a girlfriend with neon pants! A funny story. I'll be the judge of that. Some years ago, a terrorist from America. Nope, not laughing. The Mandarin. He gave his figurehead the name of a chicken dish. Even more Iron Man 3 connections. If Ty Simpkins shows up here looking for his dad, I will legit add a thousand cents. Instagram. Cheating at Dance Dance Revolution when you're Tony freaking Leung. I threw myself back into the studies of her village. The legendary Talo. They called it that because they thought Talo Kanda might be a little bit too on the nose. Your mother wanted us to live in Talo. She asked permission from the elders and they refused. They said I wasn't worthy. They were correct. To get through, you need to know the route and the exact time it opens. Now I know both. How? I mean, I saw a path there and the movie seems to indicate you somehow know the day, but even so, if those dragon eyes are a one-time use, were you even paying attention enough to memorize all that? I played Mist, man. Map sh ain't easy. But then that dragon, vomited a magical water map, and now I have no idea what's real. Right, because the blip, and the fight with Thanos that flipped the blip, and the countless other strange things you've seen, including literal sorcerers, couldn't have prepared you for such a crazy experience. You can't have it both ways, Marvel. About Mom being locked behind a gate by her own people? Crazier things have turned out to be true. Like that actor in the paper towel roll and the hamster? Trevor, you f***ing scamp! Also, this movie is now Iron Man 3.5. Trevor says he was imprisoned after Iron Man 3's events, but that Shang Chi's dad broke him out to kill him. Now, I understand Trevor was playing the Mandarin, a fictionalized version of a real life ancient crime lord, but why would that crime lord feel threatened in the least by Trevor? Why kill him? Especially if you just let him live after he entertains your men with Shakespeare. This whole explanation makes no sense at all. So you're like his jester? 
He performs plays for the Ten Rings troops, but is a captive. This is veering hard into Tropic Thunder territory. He says he grew up with your mom in Tarlow. The f*** am I even watching right now? It was a relatively straightforward magical kung fu movie for nearly an hour, and now suddenly I'm in a goddamn Pixar short. Morris says he can guide you there right now. For f sake, look, Morris is a f***ing stupid footstool of a creature. F*** him. I'm adding a hundred sins for Trevor being in this movie. How did you- Dad has a tunnel system under the whole compound. Well, that certainly convene explains it. Is the forest working with them or against them? Because it apparently knows all about drifting and can adapt perfectly to these turns. Probably learned it from the fast and furious Okio Drift. This car just ran a spontaneous road course through a magical changing bamboo forest and it has zero body damage. Quick security recommendation for whoever designed entry protocols. Instead of the whole mutating forest maze bit, how about just not making the magical water portal an open source easy entry? You could put spikes in the driveway all you like, but maybe try locking the door? Peacock Fox! Peafox? Foxcock? I know we're going for a Jurassic Park awe-inspiring moment here, but I just can't shake a strange desire to catch them all! A herd of buckbeaks! They do move in herds. A BMW iX3. Electric sport comfort that can take you hundreds of miles into untamed bamboo jungle on a single charge. But good luck getting back home. And even though the whole city was gathered here in defense, I waited in the background to announce myself at a key moment because I'm important. Seriously, Michelle Yeoh plays me. The realm of Talo stretches far beyond the shores of our small village. It's almost impressive how much heavy story work this movie manages to do by using real-life narration and murals of exposition. But even 60% creative exposition, it's still 60% exposition. Until the attack of the Dweller in Darkness. Hell, there are a lot of characters to keep track of here. We're halfway through and I think they just introduced a new big bad. You see what just happened there? Clumsy arrow lady is the real hero of the movie. If she doesn't drop these arrows, then Katie doesn't pick them up and get dragged to learn to shoot them before making the luckiest, most convenient, dumbest kill shot in the history of cinema. She knew that one day you would find your way here and asked me to prepare something for your arrival. She left them super suits? She's their mother and their Edna Mode? I think my favorite part of this movie is when Aquafina gets Legolas good at bow and arrow in a few days' time. Wait, 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 wait. I forgot the word least. You're the saddest bunch I've ever met. But you can bet before we're through, Mr. I'll Make a Man, how do you? They're breakdance fighting! I realize the intent is to make us think that Mr. Iron Bagels here has dozens of important rolled up scroll documents in his office. That's fair. But don't tell me he has any f***ing clue which one is which, because he goddamn does not. Mama! If this was animated, I'd have already tagged it with a Disney protagonist is motivated by a dead parent cliché. But there's also a superhero who has a dead parent cliché. Can no one have a living parent? How to scar your child for life. Bring them hand in hand to a scene where you then use big metal Cheerio jewelry to murder a bunch of fools. Did he just block rifle rounds by moving the loot loops in front of them? Did they give him special powers of speed and agility as well? I hate how every piece of equipment just eventually acts like magic whenever it's needed. <laughs> that was awesome. Something every six-year-old boy should know and can definitely comprehend. We will rebuild the Ten Rings to what it once was. It seems weird to me that his evil organization is named after the wrist anklets he wears. This would be like King Arthur naming his army the Excaliburs. Burn it down. Despite having the golden sphincters of ultimate power on his arms, he has his henchmen engaged in some fisticuffs, because you can't spell Marvel without marring the end of every movie or TV show with random pointless melees of hand-to-hand -hand Bell Islands. Or something. You stood at a window and watched her die! At least he was in the building, daddy f face. What is this, batting practice? Why is he launching the Halo Infinites one at a time instead of, oh, I don't know, doing anything else? Oh cool, this beautiful, culturally thoughtful story about a family trying to reconcile with its past is going to come down to a CG battle with CG participants, and then a showdown between two equal beings fighting each other. Just like, well, every MCU movie ever. Look, I'm not saying that Marvel has a third act problem, I'm more saying they have a third act crisis. <laughs> Sure, Motorola Razor Fist can just jam a hastily chopped off dragon scale sword into his arm port and everything works just fine, but I spend 30 minutes trying to decide which way is up on a USB cable. Seems fair. I get it now, he's Khaleesi! This insanely timed ramp jump into triple demon swipe to flu flying mouth move is pretty cool. But does the flu flying have teeth made of dragon scales, or are we just supposed to assume that because he's some sort of Tao Lo creature that the teeth are also demon bat kryptonite? What even are the rules here, and how does anyone know them? How long is that rope? Why is everything magic? 
Whoa, he's controlling the Sonic Circles! And just like that, our main fighters both have five of the rings and now have completed the full transition to same versus same. I swear it's oxygen to Marvel writers. They can go only so long without breathing the sweet, sweet air of equally powered combatants. Yay, more CGI chaos. My adrenal fatigue salutes you. Deus Luck Dragona. The Kung Fu movie will now end with a dragon fight. And that's fine, as long as it ends. It's headed for the village! She hears this. I love how everything is going well until they drop a few more convenient souls into his system for an immediate upgrade. How intense are those soul hits? This how to cocaine your dragon nonsense is all of the dub. For reasons! Like 10% of this movie is Aquafina staring at something in shock or surprise. <laughs> yeah, Legolas shot the dragon through the- oh, it was Katie. Do you believe it now, Trinity? I regret to inform you that there is no f***ing way that dragon didn't just snuff out all those memorial lanterns with dripping lake water. Bruce Banner and Captain Marvel hologram it in when either could easily be there in person in a matter of minutes. You can get my number from Bruce. Yeah, I, I, I don't have her number. If none of the Avengers have each other's phone numbers, how do you all arrange hologram meetups like the one we just saw? <laughs> Thanks again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. People often forget that mental health is just as important as physical health. I know I do. If you're feeling like you need to speak to someone or you just need a mental health check-in, BetterHelp is an amazing online resource that allows you to do just that. Connect with a therapist in a safe and secure online environment. And no, this isn't self-help. This is a real connection with an actual human being. And you don't even have to leave the house to do it. It takes about as much effort as watching a YouTube video to start your connection to BetterHelp. And hey, we can all watch YouTube, am I right? I mean, you're all the way at the end of this video. You get bonus points. Once you get started, you can send messages to your therapist anytime, check out information that's relevant to your needs, and book your next appointment all on the same page. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches, so they make it easy and free to change therapists if needed. Head to betterhelp.com slash cinemasins to answer a few questions and get paired up with a therapist within 48 hours. Get a whole 10% off your first month by clicking that link. Join over 2 million people taking charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash cinemasins. Tree herder. A shepherd of the forest. This forest is old. Very old. Neeson's straight killed a robot boat! Liam Neeson is my shiz knit! Who are you? I am Iron Man. I bring scientists, you bring a rock star. Hmm? There it is. Oh yeah! Watch your back! Stay on target. Fear does not exist in this dojo, does it? No, Sensei! How did I beat you? Let me pass. You shall not pass! <laughs> 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 <laughs>